Hello guys, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today I'm going to be doing a, what is it, mid-month reading for the mid-month of August. So this would be the energy from August 15th until the end or till the beginning of September, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the Guardian Angel cards to see what messages, prayers, or affirmations that you might need for this time. Okay, and then we're going to take a look at the energies that are surrounding you or anything that may be coming up. All right. So I already prayed over these cards. Oh, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome. I got a lot of new subscribers. Thank you for clicking on my videos, hitting that thumbs up for me, and subscribing. Um, I do a monthly giveaway. I still have not decided on what exactly I'm going to be giving away. Well, the card that came out is Manifestation. So I haven't decided on what I'm going to be giving away, but I usually give away um, Oracle decks, Tarot decks, um, candles. I give away a lot of candles, um, gift baskets, things of that nature. So if you're interested in any of that, just let me know in the comment section and I'll give you a green check mark. The details for the giveaway will be in the description box. And when I do decide what I'm giving away, I'll come on live and let you guys know and see it. I always let you see what I am giving away. Okay? So the card that we got out here is Manifestation. Wow. So believe in yourself, trust your instincts, and follow your heart. For in doing so, you shall manifest all your heart desires. The life you have for, for so long... <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me, let me do that again. <laughs> the life you have for so long aspired to create will soon manifest. All right. Beautiful manifestation. So as I was talking about manifesting something, the card came out. So maybe you guys are working on a manifestation. I actually asked a question, a poll about that today. About have you guys seen anything manifest or material materialize? You know, recently with the Lionsgate energy, the new moon, okay, or do you guys still have blockages? Are you still working on something? So let me pull some tea leaf cards here. These are just predictions here that could be coming towards you or you're dealing with within the next two weeks. Take what resonates, leave the rest. I always say that, leave the rest, because I know sometimes it could be you guys sound triggering, triggered in the uh, comment section, so... Take what resonates, leave the rest behind, okay? I'll pull three from this deck. What do we have? So we have the key energy here. Successful outcome to your problems. Wow. That is beautiful. So that is a message here for someone. Needs to hear. If you're going through a difficult situation right now, it seems like there is going to be a good successful resolution, successful outcome. So no need to worry, no need to stress about whatever this is. Let's see here, what other cards do we have? Oh, we got two came out. Opportunity or a windfall. Wow, we've been getting that kind of energy um, a lot lately, especially this last week for the Aries Collective. Money coming, so here's confirmation that there's a big opportunity or some sort of windfall in money. I feel like it's unexpected as well. And what do we have here, Vine? Seek out information that will help you. Okay, so if there is a situation or a problem that you may be going through, don't just wait um, until the answer comes to you. That's kind of like that card in the Moonology, uh, a balance between practicality and spirituality. You can pray, you can manifest, but then you have to do a little bit of the legwork, whatever you're guided to do, right? Like your... Um, Whatever you're called to do after manifesting or, uh, or speaking or praying, what is what? Inspired action. That's the word I'm looking for. Inspired action. So let's see here. What else do we have for the Aries? We have the mules. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Aries, this could be you or this could be somebody you're dealing with. Okay. That might be a situation here in the next two weeks. What else do we have for the Aries Collective? We have bag, something important such as a new job or a raise. Again, there is elevation, there's money coming in. Guys, I'm thinking about doing, somebody mentioned about doing a six month uh, prediction reading and I will do that. I think I might do it like, because we, you know, this is an all Aries channel, I'll do probably like Aries, Pisces, Cusp, Aries, and then they like Aries, Taurus, Cusp and kind of break it down like that, so. 
just wanted to let you know. All right. Anyways, I talk a lot. So dark man dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. Okay. So that is the energy here coming up in the next two weeks. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we have fire energy, the wheel energy. So let's go ahead and pull some moonology before we get into the tarot. Holy Spirit, Spirit guides and angels, please all know the clear message for the Aries Collective. What do they need to see from mid-August until September? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit Confirmation. This just flew out. That is the card I was talking about. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. There's a lot of blue up here. You guys can't see. But at the bottom of the deck, we have um, this prayer card here. We have the manifestation card here. So blue is a real healing color, real healing energy. Maybe it might be somebody's favorite color, but it's the same type of blue. So that it's really getting highlighted to me. But anyways, this is balanced spirituality and practicality, full moon and Pisces. Okay. So this is like I was explaining earlier, you manifest, right? You meditate, you visualize, you do all those good things. But when the inspired action comes to you, you have to take it. You can't stay stuck in fear because you're doing all that meditating and that manifesting, right? And then something that spark of influence comes comes to you, it's all wasted if you don't act right then and there. It's your guides, your spirit guides, and your angels here to help you. So you have to take that inspired action. There's more at the bottom, more blue. So let's pull two more cards here. Full moon and Pisces. Pisces are very, um, it's a water sign, very dreamy, you know, um, very intuitive energy as well. So this is a great time to be visualizing what you want. I feel like this is a very powerful time, especially with the manifestation card. If you have a practice of visualization or any sort of meditations that you do to get into that feeling state, I just feel like I need to tell somebody that because I think that would be very powerful for you right now to accomplishing it or, or realizing any manifestations. Manifestations has been heavy on my mind today, so I feel like somebody needs to uh, hear that or see that. Oh, there was a message. I'm sorry, guys. If you're new here, this is me. This is just me all the time. There is a channeled message I need to get out because I was hearing it earlier. I was cleaning, washing dishes, cooking, and just coming back, kept coming back to me. There's somebody out there, okay? Look in the eye because I might be talking to you. There's something here that you've been teetering on for a very long time, I feel like. Um, some sort of project, some sort of business, maybe a job change. Um, and if you start, Spirit's told me, if you start right now, if you start whatever this thing is, this project, if you, you know, apply for this job, I don't know what it is, but if I kept hearing, if you start now, you'll be somewhere else in six months. So it's kind of like, this is your time to start something because in six months you can be in a completely different place. So hopefully that's a kick in the butt for somebody. I don't know what it is. I, I feel like it's a project. I don't know, maybe a job or something or, on, you know, some sort of anything that's going to bring you change in your life. Like, I mean, like elevation type of change, maybe location change, money change, something. If you start right now, you will be somewhere different in the next six months. Okay, so if that's resonating with you, this is your that's your confirmation. It just came to me. I needed to say that again. Or say that I don't think I said it. So let's see here. What else do we have for the Aries Collective for the next two weeks? Mid-August to the end of September. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. I feel like that has to do with that channeled message. It's time to show the world the real you. All right, let's do one more card. All right, from mid-August until the beginning of September. All right, what do we have here? So we have the end of a tough cycle approaches. I believe that, yes, Y'all know I have crazy looks that someone just scared me outside. <laughs> okay, so the end of a tough cycle approaches. All right. This could be you starting that project as well. Something here big is manifesting for someone. 
I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger, but it's going to be something that elevates you and changes your circumstances greatly. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, it says, don't let your past hold you back. All right here. So before I get started, I'm going to pull two more from these angel answers deck. What do the Aries need to see at this moment in time? Mid-August. Okay, what do they need to see? All right, so we have the situation will improve. Okay, so there's a difficult situation. You're getting a lot of opportunities here, Aries. This is not the time to be sleeping on these opportunities, okay? We have successful outcome to your problem. The situation will improve. I mean, a windfall here, opportunities. This is not the time to be sleeping or not being active or not, you know, putting in action in something. Okay, so we have within the next few weeks, which this is the time frame of this reading. So beautiful. All right. So let's go ahead and get started here. Take another sip of coffee. All right, what is the energy here for Aries for, let me make sure the cards are up. What is the um, energy here for Aries for the next few weeks? This is a general reading. Whatever comes up, I will read it as such. Okay, Holy Spirit, Spirit, Guides and Angels, please let me deliver a clear message for the Aries Collective. I hate when YouTube tries to play me like that, put on these commercials. in the next few weeks. Let's see what that is. Manifestations. Hmm. All right. Definitely somebody's getting a promotion, a new job. This is confirmation if you've been job searching, you're getting a new job, or maybe you've just recently gotten a new job. If you, if either way, this new job or this new start is going to be very positive, very beneficial for you. Okay, I think it's going to elevate you in some way, maybe financially, even in just in your career. So we have the star and the six of swords that came out. So yeah, definitely moving forward, Aries, in a very positive way, in a very positive energy. Somebody here has is leaving a difficult situation. So say, for instance, you just got a new job. This job is going to propel you forward here. Some of you are quite literally traveling or moving away from something, moving here, moving into a new home. The star energy, though, is very healing. So I feel like somebody's coming out of some sort of toxic environment or difficult situation here in this next few weeks, and it's going to be very good with the Six of Pentacles here. It's going to be like a gift from the universe. All right. Wow, there it is, the sun. Okay, so very positive energy moving forward. We have the star and the sun. This is beautiful. Some of you here, this is like a dream come true, okay? You've been working on something or investing in something. It's that same message here that you, if you start something right now, I feel like you feel this energy, you know what it is moving forward, you're going to be very, very good. You're going to be very well off. Let's see here. What does spirit want you to focus on right now? Okay. So the sun is showing up at the very beginning of the reading so that's very positive here it could be new beginnings new relationships um i keep wanting to say pregnancies or something obviously not everybody is going to get pregnant but it's just like the birth of something new is going to be very positive what does spirit want and focused on during this time 
All right, Eight of Pentacles, working on something. There's that message that keeps coming up. This is kind of like some sort of craft that you've been studying, you're working on, you've been paying attention to the signs as well. Some of you may have went back to school or you're going back to school to sharpen up your craft skills because sometimes this could be like apprenticeship, you know, studying something here that's going to elevate you. Also, in the meantime, in between time, you are blocking a lot of BS from you as well with the Seven of Wands here. Any distractions, anybody coming in to kind of like throw you off your path or throw you off your course, you're not really having it. You're standing your ground, very defensive energy, but it's because you look like you're building yourself up. Eight of Pentacles, eights talk about self, self-reflecting, working on you. This could even be healing with the Star card here, okay? Let's see, what are the lessons from the past? What do you learn from the past? Yeah, so something ended here in the past of the Ten of Swords. There was some sort of betrayal or heartbreak that you're getting over. Very toxic situation here. The higher fit here could have been a marriage or a relationship. It doesn't have to be a marriage. It could be a long-term relationship, I'm feeling. We have the Queen of Swords energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Could be. doesn't have to be. The hair font is Taurus energy. But I feel like somebody has finally had enough of a situation. And they've walked away. This Five of Swords is still at the bottom of the deck. So you could have been dealing with somebody who was very manipulative, conniving. And you just got tired of it. So you finally walked away from that. And that's why this star here is, star in the sun is in the main position of healing. You're moving forward. You're moving in a positive direction. So if somebody needs to hear this, you did the right thing. Okay. Why is my bra stop keep showing? Oh. Anyway, you did, the, you did the right thing. Okay. Walking away from whatever this thing is or person. But it does seem like somebody was hurt white bad because when the, the queen of swords is here and she has her sword up she's very protective of herself because somebody played with her okay all right let's see here what's coming you guys wow aries four of wands somebody could be moving here i got that in the beginning with the six of swords traveling getting a new home you are elevating. The Four of Wands is definitely happiness. We have the Fool here, a new beginning. Something very stable is coming in for you. And it's very, very positive. This is a time of manifestations for real, acting. Whatever you write down, I tell you guys all the time, whatever you write down, you will realize. This is a time to be journaling here, scripting, because it's coming, okay? As long as you have a, some sort of plan behind whatever it is that you're manifesting, What's coming here in the future for in the near future for Aries? The Queen of Cups here, following your intuition here. This is a very spiritual and intuitive woman here. So you whatever feels right to you right now is what you're going to do. And that's going to be right. It's leading you in the right direction with the Queen of Cups here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, this could also be love or relationship coming towards you as well. Sometimes it represents cancer for me. Let's see. What is the energy Aries is in? I'll go back and clarify. Aries, you're investing. You're working. You're building. You're really not even focusing out on anybody else right now. You're kind of just investing in yourself because you want to see growth. You want to see wealth. You want to see things, you know, come to fruition right now. So you're just investing, it feels like, in yourself. Your business, your career, your life, okay? Seems like you could be waiting for something. And this energy did say that you're getting some sort of information that's going to be very positive coming towards you as well. King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So it's elevation. Let's see here. In the environment. Oof, five of Pentacles. So there was a lack or somebody here who feels left out that you're probably moving forward. You're not waiting for this person anymore, Aries. I feel like you're more focused on yourself, whatever this is, nine of cups. So you're walking towards a wish fulfillment by leaving this person behind. I feel this person was really draining here. Um, this person, this is this Ten of Swords energy. They were very draining, very toxic here. They're feeling the remnants of you leaving and you walking away. They hate it, all right? But that's their fault anyway. All right, the lessons here learned in this period. What are the lessons Aries are taking with them? Oh, 
Ooh, Aries, Ten of Pentacles, that windfall is coming in. So you're focusing on you. Aries, you know somebody has been blocking your abundance. And that's like kind of the kick in the butt that you needed to move forward. Could have been a parent, could have been, it doesn't have to be a relationship. It could have been anything. It could have been a situation that you were stuck or attached to. I'm hearing roommate as well. Some of you may have been with a roommate who was very toxic. Um, but you're breaking free from that. And you're moving towards more stability, more happiness. The four of wands, this is a lot of good energy. Ten of pentacles, there's that windfall. Opportunity or windfall, that carrot, um, that carrot energy right here. Carrot energy right here. Windfall um, and successful outcome to your problem. I feel like somebody is moving away from a situation, though. It was very toxic. All right. Um, we're going to clarify all these cards at the end. What is the outcome? The magician. So we started with manifestation. We're ending it with manifestation. Look, okay, page of pentacles at the end. This is that beginning of seeing that manifestation materialize, that seed that you planted. It's coming, Aries. So if you guys have not started any rituals or manifesting right now, this is your time to do so. This is your sign, okay? All right. So let's see here. Let's clarify the Queen of Cups, what is moving forward, coming towards you. So you can get a better idea of what this is coming towards you in the near future. Hmm. We have the Four of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. And I remember when I pulled the Queen of Cups, it was at the bottom of the deck too. So I wonder what that could be about. Let's see what this Queen of Cups is. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. So this Ten of Pentacles could do have to do with a relationship that's coming up to you, okay? Could be with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. And this could just be something that comes to you by following your intuition, following your heart. What is this Queen of Cups? Okay, so Five of Cups in the reverse. After you get over a difficult situation, sadness, probably in love, there's somebody coming towards you that's going to bring you stability and love. What is the Queen of Cups? The Death card here. So this is a very transformative energy. Could be a Scorpio. doesn't have to be, but I feel like this is more representative of a transformation because of the Five of Cups here it then leads to the Ten of Pentacles. So something that really had you drained and sad and just spinning your wheels is finally clearing out of your energy and you're moving to a more stable, you know, opportunity or beginning with somebody here. Yeah, the world fell out. So it is a completion of a cycle. It is finally done. All right. Let's clarify this Five of Pentacles here in your environment. The Eight of Pentacles. So you're not really, whoever this is, whatever this is, you're not worried about it. You're going to keep your head buried in whatever you're doing. You're going to keep building on yourself. This could also be somebody wanting to come in and tell you, hey, we want to, I want to work on this. Let's see what the Five of Pentacles is. Yeah, the Fool card. Aries, I don't think whatever it is, it was really draining to you. So you're not looking back. You're moving forward and you're having a new beginning. There's a star again. Very healing energy. Let's clarify the magician here. Yep. Wow. Eight of cups. You're walking away from something, Aries, that was not doing you any bit of good, right? It was emotionally draining. It wasn't serving you anything, right? So you're walking away and you're manifesting something new. At the bottom of the deck, we have the chariot as well. Yeah, somebody here is not with the five of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. Somebody does not want you to walk away. Okay, this is that same energy here that's in your environment here. Somebody, you either ghosted somebody and I don't mean that like you were the person here who really, I don't want to say that. I feel like you had to cut somebody off because they were draining you. Now, I feel like also that you gave this person chance and chance and chance again because the reading started with the Six of Swords. So that means that there was conflict and you just had to walk away from it. But you're walking into a new opportunity here. Let's clarify the Five of Pentacles. Let's see. Wow. The Ace of Cups. So yeah, there's a situation here that was very draining and you're walking away from it. I think you did go somebody 
to be quite honest here. The Page of Wands, they probably want to come back and communicate with you. But it was like this person here got, they thought that they could get away with treating you the way they did, right? And you gave them chance and chance and chance. But I don't think they ever thought that you would be the one to walk away. I think this person used to walk away from you. If this is a love situation, they used to walk away from you all the time. And so they always thought they could come back because I feel like somebody is really hurt areas that you are leaving. Possibly even watching you walk away to something new. You may have met somebody new already with the Ace of Cups. All right. Let me pull one more card. Yeah, Three of Cups here. Celebrating, happy, get together. Joyce is the Queen of Cups again. I think people around you are very happy for your come up as well, Aries. Okay. Oh, somebody shining their light in here. All right, let's wrap this reading up and I'm going to read this prayer card. Yeah, so we have the temperance card here. This has been a long time coming, Aries, for you guys. This happiness, this joy, two of cups at the bottom of the deck with the magician again. So that's where I'm gonna leave the reading here. For the next two weeks, it's looking really good. It looks like something is ending for you guys that is allowing something new to become to come in. There's somebody here who seems like they're not happy about this and you may be getting communication from them, but I don't think it's gonna stop anything. All right, so we have the prayer card here. Dear guardian angel, help me to be flexible in my attitudes and beliefs. Help me not to fear the transient nature of life. Help me to remember the eternal light which em emanates from my soul and the eternal light which emanates from the heart of every living thing. Help me to remember that I am eternally guided and loved by God and all creation. That is beautiful. Thank you again, Tanisha, for these cards. So that is what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Take care.